My brothers and sisters, welcome back to Be Encouraged. Thank you so much for joining me one more week on Be Encouraged. Here is what God has for us this week. Your current position is not permanent. Just stay a while. I, the Lord, am with you and I'll bless you and I'll see you through it. That is the word of God for us and the encouragement for us this week. Your position, your current status, in your current challenge, whatever it is that you are going through, God is saying it is not permanent. Hallelujah. Stay a little while. I am with you. I am going to bless you. And I am will see you through. Let's get to the word of God to hear that word today. It says here in Genesis 26, and I encourage you to read the entire chapter because I can't do it in one short video, but read the entire scripture and to get the essence of what the Lord is saying to you this week. It says in verse 3, this is God talking to his servant Isaac. Stay in this land for a while. I will be with you and I will bless you. My goodness. Can you imagine God told Isaac those words? Everybody would think that Isaac would not face any challenges. He would not face any difficulties. No strife would come his way. Wow, but guess what? In the place where Isaac was, my God, in the place that God told Isaac to stay for a while, what happened? My goodness, strife, trials and testing came. My goodness, Isaac feared evil for his life. My goodness, that he had to depend upon God. But God was still with him. Because God realized that even in his fear, he had been obedient. Why? He stayed in Gerar. My God. And because of that, God, you see, sometimes we forget what God promised us when we're going through something. But the key to God's words and to get God's promise is this obedience. Even though Isaac was afraid, he stayed in Gerar. And what happened? In Gerar, what happened? Strife came. My goodness. But did he give up? Absolutely not. He kept on believing the promise of God and trust God. The Bible tells us when you read down more in the chapter that he dug a well. My goodness. And there was strife over the well. Did he give up? No. He dug a second well while he was in the place, at the place where God had him. He dug a second well. Strife over the well. Did he give up? No. He continued. He dug a third well. I tell you something this week. Where you are in your life at this moment, the challenge that you are facing at this moment, God is saying to you, you have been obedient. You are at the place. You see, the enemy wants us to believe that when God has us at the place, that he has forgotten us. So things are not going our way and we forget what God said. But my goodness, you may be in your gear this moment. You may be going through it for a season, but God wants me to remind you it's not permanent and not because you're going through challenges, not because you're facing difficulties in that season. My goodness, Isaac, even though he was there, he knew it was not a permanent situation. My, He planted. You see, some of us don't want to plant when we're going through our difficulties. We can't read the word. We can't sow into God. We can't meditate on his words. We are so, oh my God, confined by the circumstances, by the temporary, my God, that we can't even see what God is doing. But even in what Isaac was faced with, even with what he was going through, God was blessing him. Did you wake up this morning? In your trials this morning, did you wake up? My goodness, did, my God, God is saying today, even in what you're going through, he has blessed you. You woke up this morning. My goodness, your family, my God, is in the same home. My goodness, you still have that job that you're so concerned about. 
My goodness, you're still getting paid for that job. My God, he's saying to us this week, stay for a while. It's only a while. You see, when Isaac dug that third well, my goodness, the Bible said there was no strife. You're going through what you're going through. But God is saying that when you are, you are obedient and you stay consistent, <laughs> believing and trusting him, my God, when the enemy comes in, my God, with the strife and the dispute, when the enemy comes in with the tactics and the challenges, even then, keep on pressing. Isaac did not give up. Why are you giving up? <laughs> keep on digging into God. Keep on trusting God. Keep on relying upon God. The Bible tells me that after all was said and done, when Isaac was obedient to stay in the position that God had him, my goodness, there was peace when he dug that third well. Water came and guess who showed up? My God, God showed up. God showed up. <laughs> he appeared unto Isaac and he confirmed the promise he made to his father and he made to him. I tell you this week, God is saying your position is not permanent. My God, stay for a while. Keep trusting me regardless of what your ears hear, of what you see, what you're going through. Keep trusting in me. Keep on digging. Keep on praying. Keep on pressing. Keep on believing because God is about to appear. Your breakthrough is at hand. Don't you let my God the strife. Don't you let the enemy stop you from allowing God to rise up in your situation and to take hold of that breakthrough. God bless you this week. Have a wonderful week. Remember, hmm, your position, your challenge, your difficulties, what you're going through, it's not permanent. My God, God is with you. So just stay for a while and keep trusting in God because He will see you through. God bless you.